I guess I should say, I got the bread clip to work, and now I've lost the bread clip. <laughs> <laughs> it's very small. It's a very small thing. I keep losing it. I got it to... No, I didn't throw it away. Eric asked, did I throw it away? I didn't throw it away. I tightly wound up a bag that had two bagels in it. And I was like, this could hold it. And I got it to the point where it did prevent it from opening the bag. Then I took a bagel out and I put it on my desk and then I moved it somewhere from that. I don't, it's somewhere on my desk, I think. But it's very small. You binned it, didn't you? It's tough to find. I definitely did not bin it. Well, I've got the bread clip hit. What episode is this, by the way? All right, hold on a second. I'll do that. Hello, and welcome to the 110th episode of the Face Podcast. My name is Jeff Ramsey. With me, as always, Andrew Panton and Gavin Free. Uh, one's from England, one's from Canada. Doesn't matter which. Uh, I'm from America. And Gavin, you're going to try an experiment. I think I was supposed to do this in 108, and I forgot. But uh, <laughs> I now have the bread clip and some okay. bread. So how did, first off, how does it feel? Like, let's give it, give it, give us some, uh, some audio texture. How does it feel in your hand? What is it? Sturdy? Do you like the magnet? Well, the first thing I've noticed is that it's made of metal, but that bit isn't magnetic. It has a separate <laughs> magnet on it. Yeah. It's got a little magnet on it. <laughs> sort of defeats the whole purpose in a way, but all right. Uh, got some bread. Gonna try it now. Because in my head, this was this. There's no way I wasn't gonna get this on here. But here we go. Let's let's try. Yeah, no, I was the same. And then I got a loaf, and it, it's really difficult. You need to really wind it tight. You need to make the top narrow, and you need to slide it up. There's no putting oh, it God. through the front. You got to slide it in the hole. It's a slide mechanism. <laughs> yeah, no. What? what <laughs> well, wait. Is it a full loaf of bread that you're trying to do? How much bread is in this bag? I'm just. Go I'm not using the bread bit. Yeah, <laughs> you're just using the bag. <laughs> what the? What do you mean? What is it just an empty bag? No, it's got like the nubs on the end. You just fucking wait. Well, well wait. That's just what I'm wait. asking. I'm asking how much of the loaf is in the bag. Probably Why three does slices? it matter? I'm I'm, I'm because it's up a the weight bag, Andrew, I'm at the neck. It's a weight differential for the bag and the maneuverability <laughs> oh, of it. It's a full loaf. You don't have the same maneuverability of the bag. I've done this before. Have you done this, Jeff? Have yes. you tried this? Yes. Okay. Well, I didn't know that, okay? I, I tried it I first. Oh. I don't even remember that. But I, the bagels work because there was a less volume, I'd say, in the bag itself. It allowed more manipulation and, and flattening of the bag to get it through. This blows. <laughs> this yeah, it's, it's, it's very Listen, it's a prototype. It's a early. It's, ver it's version one. Things that we solved. A, it's pretty. It's very aesthetic. So got a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a beautiful sky blue. It's got a cool uh, date on it. Says our name. That's cool. Nailed it. Out of the park. First try. Right there. Got it. It's got a magnet on it. Sticks to metal stuff. Boom. Nailed that. Feels sturdy. Nailed it. Doesn't bend. Absolutely nailed that. Unfortunately, that's where it starts to <laughs> fall apart. Turns out should have bent a little bit. No worries. We'll work on that for revision two. What you have right now, though, in version one, is a great commemorative bread clip. <laughs> Much like when people buy commemorative spoons and thimbles, they don't really use them to sew and eat soup. They hang them on the wall. God, my mouth has... I just fucking... This... this sucks. <laughs> You're struggling? Yeah, it's just like I feel like my mouth's full of saliva all the time. Okay, so I, I ripped the bag and the, ma <laughs> the magnet flew off. <laughs> and, um... The magnet's gone? So now I've just got the, uh... The blue bit. It's tough. It's yeah, tough. I think I'm gonna to put. It, I'm gonna put it on a chain and wear it. I think that's how I'm gonna use it. Well, I think what you could do, honestly, you put it on a chain and then you have like a singular bagel in a bag, and you run that through the hole, and then you have the bagel supporting <laughs> the bag. So it's like a double chain situation. That would be the luck. Have like one slice of bread in a bag being held up by your chain, <laughs> just in case. You never know when you could use a slice or oh, a bagel. Man, I wonder how many of these we bought. I have no idea how many the store has. Are people buying it? I don't, I don't think even it's know available if out yet. yet. Yeah. Oh. I mean, they probably are. At, 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 they're definitely you know. out by the time people hear this, but not, not when we're recording this. Can I, can I give a, an important update I meant to give last time that is brought, it is genuine. The joy doesn't end. It just keeps on going with the whole Jake Toombs Tums thing. <laughs> yeah. So I recorded a thing and I need to like edit it down and chop it a little bit of him learning because after we recorded, I talked to him and a group. And he, he learned that he's been saying Tums wrong his entire life, and he was not happy about it. And it was a big discussion of, like, we are sacrificing the fact that we can hear him say Tums, and it is fucking hilarious every time he says it. Um, 
So there's sort of a sense of loss, the fact that we we had lost Tombs. I'm I'm not exaggerating. The exact same night, he was we're talking. He's like, you know what's funny is I don't even typically use like Tums that type of thing. I'm more like I'm in the Rolades camp. You know, Rolades like the watch. And there was a pause. <laughs> it was a long silent pause. And and they're like, excuse me? And he said, Rolades like the watch. And we're we're like, is that on the packaging? Did you come up with that? And he said, no, this is a, it's a Jake original for you. And he genuinely, we lost Tums and Tombs. Jake thinks Rolexes are called Rolades. And it's been the new thing <laughs> that has taken the last week. He went to a wedding and I was like, oh, you see anybody open any gifts? And he's like, no, nah, I didn't see it. And I was like, oh, so you didn't see anyone get a Rolade? And he said, nope, didn't see it. And I was like, does your dad have a Rolade, Jake? And he's like, I don't know. He might. I'm not sure. He genuinely thinks this. So it's it's just an endless treasure cove of, of words that are slightly wrong. I mean, at least with tombs, you could have just misread the word. Yeah. But how do you get Rolade? I have no idea, and I'm not. He's not doing a bit. He just genuinely thinks that Rolades is Rolex, and it's great. It's been getting him, and it's so much easier to prompt him to do the Rolade Rolex thing. It's fantastic. Oh, Gavin just posted a photo. That looks ridiculous. That looks good, I think. <laughs> that looks good. I like that. I think that's, I think that's going on. That's fashion what is, right there. I'm a chain guy. What is the thing on your... Is that the skateboard from Tony Hawk Ride? What is that thing on your floor? Is that a oh, foot it's just bench? Something to, no, it's just something to stand on, like a little rocker, when the desk is in stand mode. Well, you have a thing, you have a thing to stand on when it, you're standing for your desk? Yeah, it just came with a desk. I don't know why. I don't, I don't know if it's good for you or anything. Oh. I just stand on it, and it, it's like a you balance. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like that defeats the purpose of the standing. I'm still standing. I'm just standing on something that's not the floor. Yeah, but I feel like the whole thing of you stand because you don't want to sit, and you're, you're like avoiding I think a mechanism. It would, it would defeat the purpose of the standing desk if I raised it as high as it could go and then sat in a lifeguard chair. I think that would be pointless, but I think this is still <laughs> you're, just, you're just getting a good view. You're making sure nobody's sneaking up on you. No snake is going to get you in the lifeguard chair. <laughs> that's a real throwback. It is. Are you going to wear that? Like, is that is this genuinely part of your wardrobe now? Can people? I mean, if, I'm wearing it now. I'm, I don't know how long it'll stay on. I typically find it really annoying to wear jewelry. Even yeah. a watch is, is annoying. What is there any exception to your jewelry? I mean, I'd wear a Rolade, but that's about it. Yeah, Rolade. <laughs> I looked. I googled to see if there's maybe a, like a commemorative Rolade's watch or something. They never made that. It doesn't. Matter. That's <laughs> tragic. Yeah. Oh, I'd love to to get Jake a Rolade's watch. Did you see what Papa John's did, Eric Gavin? I was going to say, no. I, I'm so used to talking like dumb food shit with Eric. I, I instinctually said, somebody sent this to me right before we recorded. It's a fucking monstrosity. Maybe you'll defend it. I fucking hate it. Papa John's is doing a Branston pickle and <gasps> cheese stuffed crust. No. In the U.S.? Uh, no, I'm assuming this oh. is in, in Europe. In the fucking U.S.? You think in the U.S.? You think <laughs> they're fucking brave enough to do that in the U.S.? Also, I need That's... to clarify, is Papa John's in Europe or is it just coincidentally another pizza chain named Papa John's that has nothing to do after Dennis the Menace? I don't know what to believe. Is that the same logo? <laughs> mm, not really. Dude, Branston's been around for a hundred years, look. Has it? Well, it says since 1922. So fucking gross. Uh, it's terrible. Is it to celebrate the hundred <laughs> the century of Branston's pickle? <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea that Papa John was the one that was like, we need to. I need to eat this. That sounds absolutely Horrible. phenomenal. I would. Horrible. Wow. Papa John's is everywhere. That doesn't surprise me. Isn't, is Shaq Papa John now? Because Papa John sucked and he's, got kicked out of Papa he's John's. On, and isn't, yeah, I think he's on the board or something, right? He's, he's like a bunch of chain restaurants, I believe, of theirs. Yeah. He's a, he's a savvy businessman, Shaquille O'Neal. I've never looked at a crust and thought, this needs pickle. Like, it's just such a terrible... <laughs> but it's, it's not pickle. It's fucking onion, right? No, it's... Isn't it pickle? I mean, I've, uh, I have it's, it's like mainly pickled onion. Well, I mean, you read the ingredients. It was like a bunch of different stuff. I don't even remember. I just remember not liking it. Oh, uh, I think we should get... We should try and get you some of that. And I want some, too. 
how are, I don't think there's any way to get it. I assume it's only in Europe. Well, let's Google. I mean, pizza travels well, but I don't know if it travels that well. <laughs> We'd need someone to just take it on a plane. <laughs> Illegally smuggled. You know, like in movies where like they tape the drugs or the money to them for like walking across. <laughs> it's just pizza boxes. <laughs> yeah, where is that available? They also make Branson pickled cheese sticks. Oh, I'm just imagining somebody walking through the airport looking like a fucking Roblox character with like the boxes on each corner of them. Just a big blocky trying to be stealthy. What's this limited edition cheese sticks? Oh, it's the same thing. Yeah, it looks Branson. like it's only in the UK. Bad. Yeah, it's terrible. I'm gonna have to make a trip. Yeah, terrible. Anyone want to come? No. Well, no. <laughs> I thought for any reason, no. The answer is no. You will not set foot in the United Kingdom until... Uh, until uh, after November. <laughs> There's an order. <laughs> There's a wait list. I didn't go to Vegas. That was all. I was just kidding. That was a joke. I'm not in Vegas right now. Remember that? <laughs> I was going to be in Vegas. That was a whole big whole hee-haw. Just kidding. Oh, man. I can't believe you wouldn't go to England with me. Uh, I would after November. I think that's pretty clear. So if an opportunity came up after the after the Branston pickle and cheese, once it's long gone, I'll, I'll gladly, gladly get, do an England trip with you. Hmm. I just don't want to set foot. Well, I don't want to be in the same place that there is a pickled crust. <laughs> Sounds dangerous. We could make. How do you make a? Yeah, we could make this. No, we can't. No, we can't. No, we can't. We can't. And we don't want to. We could. We could. St- <laughs> it's possible. How would we make this? Have you ever made a crust in your life? No, I assume it's just rolling cheese into it, right? Yeah. Okay. Folding some cheese in? I guarantee you we could make this. And it'd be perfect for Face Cooks the Food, the cookbook that we have never made. I think what we'll need is someone in England, if this is still on, someone just to rip the crust open and just give me a reference photo, and then I'll try and make it. That's a great idea. I'd love to see that. I want to see your interpretation of it. And then I would, I would go to Austin to eat it. Well, oh my God, Gavin, Gavin, this is the pizza you can cook in my pizza oven in my backyard, so I can <laughs> demo it. it. Oh, it's yeah. full circle. Oh my God, oh. thank Christ. This weekend, Emily was like, is Gavin going to make a fucking pizza or what? And I was like, I don't know. I don't think so. And she goes, I'm paying to have this thing torn down like no, tomorrow. And I'm like, okay, all right. Make that pizza. All right, so that's it. After you make the Branston pickle stuffed crust pizza, we're ripping that thing down so we can put a pool in. <laughs> Just like the idea of pulling the pizza out and then the sledgehammers immediately start walking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's perfect. I think you should keep that. But I'm not gonna, though. But that's perfect, dude. That's super exciting. In three years, I've made zero pizzas. Since we, made the, we, since we had the discussion in my backyard of you making a pizza in that thing, we've made zero pizzas. The, it, it clearly doesn't get used. However, mm. however, this is, a pro, this is a perfect way to use it. I could not be more excited. I would argue that you can go to a place to swim. You can't go to a place to make a pizza. I think the pizza oven's significantly more valuable. An authentic pizza oven experience. Obviously, every, people have ovens. Ovens can work, but I'm saying like an authentic pizza oven experience. You can't just walk up and use that. Uh, I mean, I could just go to, there's like I mean, five what? wood-fired oven pizza restaurants, uh, like a, five blocks from me. Yeah, but you're not using well, What's it in the way of, though? What's it in the way of? Yeah. Uh, it takes up a lot of fucking space. But what are you going to put there? Like a chair? You got chairs. I'm, I'm going to put a pool there. <laughs> right well, there where the pizza thing is? Part of it, yeah. But the pool will cut into it a little bit, yeah, probably. I would hmm. rework the shape of the pool. Also, we fucking tried to dig in your backyard before. We know what it's like. You're not going to dig a pool there. You're going to get yeah, three feet. <laughs> There's no fucking way. I like that Andrew throws himself in this. We tried to dig a hole. Look, we are not going to be I digging a pool hole. I would have loved to have been there. The, the, a dude with a crane is going to dig, and a fucking earth mover is going to be digging the pool hole. It's not going to be us with shovels out there. You're going to get a four-foot pool, and one foot of it will be below ground. The rest will be sticking out. That's all that's going to happen. Yep. <laughs> If also if you get a fucking crane to dig up your yard, you better fucking try to cook beans in that hole. You better make a real goddamn <laughs> hole with that bean. I don't want any goddamn excuses of Gavin with a hammer. Also, I don't, I don't think we ever released that video. I don't know if we ever will, but what a fucking this may be my favorite video that has ever come out of this show. That and baseballs. What's that? The bean hole? Yeah, I don't think the bean hole video ever got released. I could no, be wrong. It's never come out. No, it's yeah. never come out. I put I put them in the folder like two months ago. 
Really? I was like, hey, I've got these videos done. Let, oh, let on, me know let me if you want look. any changes. Wait, because the look. full baseball video never came out either. Yeah, it did. did you do that as well? Oh no, it didn't. Why do I do? Why do I do Wait, this? Wait, they're available. I've been waiting. I've been waiting for you to be done. Yeah, me too. I didn't know they I were done. I put it in the Slack ages ago. I've never seen any of them. I'd love to. Uh, uh, Gavin's what? overkill achievement came out, and then before that, it was Jeff at the Wait. plate, real, and then Jeff at the plate. That's I it. worked my dick off on those. I'm so excited to see them. You didn't tell anyone. Yeah, this is gonna be really exciting. Where can I we find them? I thought they were out. Are you serious? I well, put them no. in the Slack. You idiots. When did you put them in when? the Slack? There's no way you put them in the Slack. There's How did we not? Well, you, I, we seen seen I don't remember you saying these are done. Like I, don't I went remember to the this Google Drive folder and I was like, oh, this one needs music. Anyone got any notes? No, I didn't. What are you talking about? Is, when did that is that you saying this is done or? Yeah, like watch the thing. I've edited it. Where is it? I'd love <laughs> to see it. You're a fool. You're a bunch of no, fools. I don't. If it was just Shut up, me, get three different edits out the door in the same week. No one's even watching. I'll be honest. I was under the impression you just got too busy to deal with it. Yeah. You had you had slow mo guys stuff, and that you just like forgot about it. Oh and I was God. like, it's not a big deal, right? We already we already oh got content out of it, so I was like, it's no big deal. Now it's a really odd amount of time. I, I wish you would. You wish I would have what? Put it in the Slack. <laughs> I don't know that you did. I really scroll don't up. Where to where? <laughs> I, maybe it was when I. Maybe it was one of the times I quit. Face. There it is. <laughs> I just in the Eric, where is it? Eric, where'd you get that? Well, I searched. You said any notes on baseballs. I think it should probably have some background music. And then you didn't. And then that was. And then that was oh, it. Sorry. Do I need to do more than that? I I said. Does anyone have any notes on baseballs? Silence. And then right. nothing. Why right. did I bother? Right. But I didn't know it was done. <laughs> what do you want I'm from me? Very I want excited you to, to say this, this is done. When when was that posted? Uh, like May third. Oh God! <laughs> I, this is a weird. Now I know you're annoyed, and you have every right to be. But we all missed it because we thought we were being courteous to you. This was missed with the best intent. I yeah. thought you were just super <laughs> busy. I thought you were super busy, and that you just hadn't got around to it. And I wasn't going to be like, "Where the fuck are these videos that you said you would do?" Like I was just yeah, I man. figured. When so no up, one's bugging me about it because you think I'm busy. Yeah. I've already posted them, and I'm thinking, oh, well, I guess nobody, I guess they've no. gone out, or nobody had any notes. We're being respectful of your time. I, I will say, I can't find, I'm looking, and I can't find the bean hole one completed, but I don't know if that was completed or not. Again, if it was done. Is that not in the same folder? I'm, I, don't, I just have the direct link to the video. I don't have the link to the folder. Yeah, it's just uh, a link to a baseball. That, might be, that might be on you. That part. That one might be on me. I mean, they're both in there. Yeah, okay, but, but we... again, I don't have, I'm not sure. Like, I don't have the folder. Okay, yeah. so I messed up that one. I, I assumed I, <laughs> I assumed I'd link to the folder. I just linked to one video in the folder. So, okay, I'll, okay, I'll, take, I'll take the blame for Beanhole not coming out. Oh, right. man. It's done, too. It's right next to the other one. So, from May 3rd. When does this come out? What day does this, does this come out? Because we can upload these when this airs. I'm excited. Can I see Beanhole? Oh, this comes out uh, the uh, the week of the 6th, so July 6th. So July oh, so. 6th, this will become public on our YouTube channel. These will be posted. These have just yeah. been in this the podcast. face vault unknowingly. The this fuck? Podcast. We're opening the face the vault, vault has to opened. bring you incredible content. <laughs> this podcast is such a piece of shit. <laughs> no. We need more. We need money and people, and it doesn't work <laughs> without it. Here's what I'll say. Uh, no one from the audience has asked about these videos, so they may not even want them. No, they definitely. Oh, I, I want. Them. I feel like. I want them. I feel like I haven't seen anything about them. I just assumed they came out, and everyone was like, "Oh, <laughs> oh. Okay. can I? How <laughs> do I see the? How do I see the bean hole? Yeah, where's the bean hole video? I'm not logged in on this. I have to send you the link. Because I after. can't. We'll do it yeah, because I can't. After the podcast. I can't like back out of this video and yeah. like up the no, tree. No, uh, it's just asked me how else I want to open this. So yeah, okay. I'm so oh, happy. I'm taking the blame on bean hole, but uh. I, I did put baseballs up over two months But you ago. put baseballs up oh, unfinished. It's done. I just I wanted to know if you think but it should I have music on it or right, not. Right, but I didn't know it was done. You're asking for notes. We didn't give notes, but you didn't say, okay, never mind then. It's done. It's I have to say, okay, I have to say, uh, I, I need notes. By the way, it's done. What do you mean? That's, that means what do I mean? You asked for notes and then didn't say anything else about it ever, so I didn't Sorry, know it was done. Sorry, next time I ask for notes, I'll say something immediately after. What do you well, mean? I mean, I it's, it's Gavin. It's Gavin. Gavin. Notes, Gavin. It's Gavin, we gave you a month to let us know it was done, and you just never kind of got back around to it, man.
I want it on the record, Gavin. I'm on your side on this. I'm with you. I just everyone missed just, it. Everyone ignored me. I don't know me. how. I didn't, I didn't know it was there. I well, somehow I, missed that message. I, I don't want to be on either side, but I will say, uh, I, I think that Eric brings up a point. If you present it as, uh, does this need background music? It probably does. Do you think you could throw some in? It sounds like it's not done. <laughs> Can you paste what I wrote, Eric? Uh, yes, it is right here. This is from... Okay, so this is from Wednesday, May the fourth, and it is. Uh, you oh, posted... can you bleep the? Can you bleep the faces too while you're at it? Oh, <laughs> oh, video. so I st so it's not done. He's giving yeah, it notes. Doesn't seem like it's done. This was uh, uh, Gavin posted a link to the Google Drive where baseballs lives. On which any day? notes? Excuse me. <laughs> any notes on baseballs? I think it should probably have some background music, and I still need to bleep the faces. That there's no indication that this is complete. Mm. I just in. I'm just doing finishing touches stuff. Any notes before I export it for the final time? Isn't oh, that so a good we don't time have to the give notes? So we don't have the final export, is what you're telling me. Why would you have the final? Why would you give notes on the one that's being uploaded? What oh, no, are I'm you talking saying, about? How do you think it. post? Oh, I'm just saying what? we don't have it. I'm not saying you know where it lives or whatever. So I, where's saying, the final don't... version? Yeah, because I don't have that. I've never. <laughs> how do seen we have that? How do we get access to the final version? I'm sorry. I thought this was a collaborative process. I thought that if you wanted changes or if suddenly Jeff was like, oh, it shouldn't be this long. I thought I'd probably still cut it down before I waste time timing it to music, bleeping words that aren't going to be in it. I thought maybe that was a good time to get some feedback. I apologize. I was clearly wrong. <laughs> Let's I let would, it just sit there in no, silence no, no, for six no. weeks <laughs> and I'll just, I'll just shove both thumbs up my ass. How about that? <laughs> I, I need to be I genuinely am so sad I didn't see that I'm really sorry I missed it because I would have loved I would have given any note I would have given so many notes I would have been the notiest note person of all time if I saw that video Dude. I'm so sad I missed it and I'll it. be honest it's a very Jeff move to uh, look at a video that's been uploaded and be like wow why is that 16 minutes it should have been 4 I so now, now I will say I time. absolutely agree with you on that yes what that I have standards you have standards after it's done. You don't have time before it's done. <laughs> if I listen, okay, I very rarely, I very rarely have time to give notes, uh, and I trust you guys until implicitly. after where you're yeah. more than happy to. What are you talking about? When am I doing that? We need to factor in how contentious baseballs was for a time. Jeff almost quit this podcast because we posted a video of him missing baseballs. It was very close. Yeah, at least, at least, uh, even though this one didn't come out, the other three about baseballs came out. So I think I'm, so yeah, I'll, I'll watch this. I'll be honest with you, Gav. It, it totally sounds like we dropped the ball on responding to you. In all seriousness, we should have either said, "No, it's good to go, go for it," or "I don't have time to. I'm not going to watch this. I can't be bothered. <laughs> Export it or what, whatever response you got. No response so that is on us but I, but in our defense i will say there were three thousand fucking baseball videos all at once and i just missed this one but i saw all the other ones you missed yeah. the one that took like seven hours to edit i'm um, so sorry that's all right that's all right i don't to be honest i don't know why i thought it would have went up i clearly hadn't bleeped all it. yeah <laughs> I did, honestly just the silence of it i just thought oh something's happened with it i thought there's no way it, it just sat there in the slack unattended I'm so glad we decided to record two of these today. Who you knows, like, how long this could have went? I'm oh. so excited to watch the beanhole video. Mm -hmm. I cannot wait. Yeah, I've never seen it. I can't wait to get the link to it. Oh, uh, yeah, God. I would say a little a little peer behind the veil for the audience. There was a discussion. We're, we recorded 109 and 110 back to back today because Eric and I have to go out of town for VidCon next week. And uh, so there was some discussion about whether we had enough material for a second episode today. And I think we were all kind of on the fence on it. If we had decided not to do this, it might have been another six months before we found out about these videos that were coming out. Thank God. It probably God. would have been when we did the second, like the next set of baseballs, it probably would have come up again of like, oh, it's too bad that we never got that video. This it could be weeks from yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking yeah. about the immense pizza oven follow up to a video that didn't come out. <laughs> That's true. Nobody's ever seen the. Well, I audience, I apologize. In one of the videos, we have a whole conversation about how Gavin's going to cook a pizza in my pizza oven. I guess you haven't Jeff, seen you that. Jeff, you need to you need to save part of your destroyed pizza oven for the museum because it's oh, part of the lore. If it cooks the pizza, and it's, it's you got to save a chunk of it. Yeah, it's absolutely. very important. I'll do that. It's a pizza wall. Gav, how are you doing, man? 
I just remember how busy <laughs> April and May were. I'm trying to squeeze those in for no reason. Hey, real real oh, fast, no. Gav- sorry, Gavin. Gavin, real fast. Can yeah. I ask you a question? Which socks uh-huh. are you wearing today? <laughs> what color? <laughs> I'm wearing the old style. Oh. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh. That is funny. Oh. That's actually... <laughs> I'm not even <laughs> mad. Like, I'm not even mad because it became content on this one. But that is mind blowing. <laughs> Do you know why it happened? Honestly, it, it, it wasn't like it was sent to one person. It was to the there's like ten people in that Slack. It ha- <laughs> it happened because we have so many things going on all the time. Like, <laughs> face is just this, like it's just like a minefield of bad of bits that we're dancing around. It's like. We we were probably seven bits further by the time that you know what I mean. It's like it's oh. it's unfortunate, but, <laughs> that it, is but so it, funny. But it's so awesome that we found out, and we get to release these videos now. <laughs> I don't so think we need to. No, no one we in the need audience. to. No, no, we knew. No one we knew. Is even They're coming out. It. I don't think the audience knew they were missing them. <laughs> we t- <laughs> we talked about. Didn't we talk about how there were so many baseball videos coming out and I've got like my super cut coming? I don't think yeah. anyone cared. No, well, I care. I've been, I think they probably I've been yeah. anticipating this for weeks. They probably just saw the two baseball videos that were already out and thought that that's what you meant. <laughs> oh, I'm and so excited. And then we're putting out stuff like the overkill. And, oh, God. <laughs> All right. We'll get them out. We'll get them out. Yeah, I can't oh, wait. Oh, man. I wish I, oh. I wish I, I wish I, I wish I had that mechanism internally that allowed me to feel empathy for you in this moment because I think I would. <laughs> like I, I can see, do. I can see why I would. I don't uh, clearly, <laughs> but I, w- I, I, I kind of wish I did. I, I wish I felt bad for you right now because it seems like you're probably upset, and I can imagine how annoying no, and frustrating no. that would be. If it was, if it was week off, I, I just like I've, I guess I've forgotten mostly of how. <laughs> how busy all that time was <laughs> if it was closer to it i'd probably be more annoyed i'm not annoyed it's funny <laughs> it's a very us thing to have happened it is oh man this ad is brought to you by hello fresh america's number one meal kit with hello fresh you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. Choose from 55 plus weekly options featuring pre-portioned high quality ingredients picked at peak ripeness. HelloFresh delivers fresh quality produce from the farm to your door in less than a week. So you can savor summer flavors right from home. Select meals from the Taste of Summer series that are sure to become everyone's new favorite, like the Old Bay Shrimp and Sausage Boil and family-style grilled steak lettuce wraps. I talk about HelloFresh all the time. I love it. It's awesome. It's so much fun. Getting the box is cool. Making new recipes that always taste delicious is awesome. It's just a fantastic service that I love so much. So please go to HelloFresh.com slash face 16 And use code FACE16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. That's HelloFresh.com slash FACE16 and use code FACE16 for up to 16 free meals and three gifts. Thank you. I love that sound. It's the sound of another sale on Shopify, the all-in-one commerce platform to start, run, and grow your business. Shopify gives entrepreneurs the resources once deserved for big business, so upstarts, startups, and established businesses alike can sell everywhere, synchronize online and in-person sales, and effortlessly stay informed. Scaling your business is a journey of endless possibility. Believe me, this podcast started out selling t-shirts, and today we're selling grown tubes. And we're not stopping there, because success is a million milestones on a forever-evolving path. Shopify powers millions of businesses from first sale to full scale. Reach customers online and across social networks with an ever-growing suite of channel integrations and apps, including Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, and more. Synchronize your online and in-person sales. Gain insights as you grow with detailed reporting of conversion rates, profit margins, and beyond. More than a store, Shopify grows with you. This is possibility powered by Shopify. Go to shopify.com slash face, all lowercase, for a free 14-day trial 
and get full access to Shopify's entire suite of features. Grow your business with Shopify today. Go to shopify.com slash face right now. Shopify.com slash face. Now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. It's so important to have methods that can help your mental health. I know for me when I'm working through something, I found listening to music to be incredibly helpful. It allows me to be present while comfortably processing things in a way that other media doesn't. Even though I love movies and video games, it's just a different experience I have when I'm listening to music. There's also BetterHelp Online Therapy. I've talked about it a lot, but therapy is something that has made a real impact in my life, so it's always something I would highly recommend trying. BetterHelp offers a large variety of communication methods so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can be matched with a therapist within 48 hours. Our listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com face. That's better H-E-L-P dot com slash face. Hey, I saw a comment the other day, uh, and I, I didn't write down who said it, unfortunately, but uh, somebody said that it was their uh, suspicion that future Gavin came back in time, climbed a tree, and threw the branch at past <laughs> Gavin and framed me. So I have a question. Why is future Gavin trying to frame current Jeff? What does future you have against me? Because he fucking ignored his feedback on the baseball video. <laughs> is it because of this? <laughs> this is how it starts. It's this. <laughs> yeah, if I'd have just heard, and that's for the baseballs after I got hit, that would have been... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wonder why. I, I must have needed to move, or maybe, uh, maybe I was about to get sunburn or something. Maybe you, you were either saving your life, but I don't know why I'm getting the heat for it. Like it, like it was me because I clearly didn't do it. I don't uh, think there's any way I could have known you would take the heat for it, though. I, I mean, you knew everything. You're in the future. That's true. Does that mean it happened before this episode, though, or after? Uh, do you have the power uh, to time travel currently? That's a good point. Have to be after, after it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you just let something slip. That means, okay, so it's going to have to be pretty soon, though, because I don't know whether I'm going to be able to climb trees for that much longer. <laughs> I'm not going to be coming back in my <laughs> 70s and doing it, am I? I was thinking about, like, old people things. Have you ever heard a whippersnapper, like, unironically in the wild? I don't think yes. I've ever heard. Really? Yeah. Oh, I'd love to be called a whippersnapper. What was the context? I mean, people used to say, dude, I'm so old. Like, I grew up in this, like, the late, late 70s and early 80s. People oh. said shit. Old people in Alabama said shit like that all the time. Really? Sport and chief and champ and whippersnapper. Yeah, all that stuff. <laughs> oh, it'd be great. I'd love to. I don't think there's any. I guess it's an insult. I think if I was going to be called an insult, that's probably number one on my big board. I don't think I've ever been called a whippersnapper. Is it an insult? I don't think it's an insult. I think it's more of like a, just a terminology for like a rambunctious kid. Yeah, like, like, oh, you rascal. whippersnapper. Yeah, you little But rascal. I feel like it's typically used in the context of I'm sick of this kid, this mm -hmm. asshole. I feel Not like in there's my a experience. negative connotation. Really? Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. My perception of whippersnapper is totally off. Is it? Is there an age limit? When do you exceed the line of whippersnapper? Uh, when do you age out of whippersnapper? But like, is age. that... Is, Sooner than... Aging out of climbing trees, I think. I was trying to figure out, is it dependent on the person saying it, or is there a clear line? Like, if they're 100, does the bar move? Because I would say if somebody <laughs> who's, like, 70, they're probably maybe, like, 11 or 12, I'd assume is the cutoff. If they're, like, 100, I feel like it would be appropriate for them to call, like, a 20-year-old a whippersnapper. I bet a hundred year old person has called a seventy year old a whippersnapper. Just probably I think so. Probably. I bet that's happened. Yeah, I think that's happened. <laughs> well, I will say, Andrew, uh, I think you are more right than I was. Even that, that's not. How, I don't ever remember being refer used derogatorily. But uh, Dictionary Kid says that uh, <laughs> whippersnapper is a young, impertinent, and irritatingly overconfident person. So I guess it is wow. a ne negative. Yeah, well, I always feel like these damn whippersnappers, like the, the cliche. I guess I've only heard it ironically. That's what I mean. But even in the ironic context, I feel like it's aimed at somebody who's doing something against the person saying it. Mm. Did you see that picture recently of the queen coming out on her balcony, stood next to <laughs> Prince Charles? It's basically an old woman stood next to an old man. No. But one's like, her. 
It's her kid. But I bet she could call him a whippersnapper. Gavin, I don't know if this is this is like a not British DNA thing. I don't think I've ever just come across a photo of the Queen ever. I, it's never the me and seeing the Queen never comes into play. It's in the news. It was a big jubilee. Yeah, it was the platinum jubilee. I don't. I don't know. I have no. You idea. don't know about the platinum jubilee? It. I, I'm aware of platinum games. <laughs> I, I don't know of well, platinum the, jubilee. It's the seventy. This year was the seventieth anniversary of her reign as monarch. I, I, that's right, right, Gavin? I'm not. I'm yeah. making this wrong. Yeah. I mean, not, complete respect to her. You couldn't me- measure how insignificant that is to me. I fuck it. I couldn't care less. Who cares? I, I think she's the second longest living monarch. I couldn't care less. Well, I mean, you don't have to. <laughs> I'm just saying. It was, in, it was in the damn news. It's not in my world. I didn't see that news. That's not the right, come across the my picture. feed. Oh shit! Oh, what the? F- Aren't you part of England or something? I saw her with Paddington Bear. That was she's cool. On, she's on your money. Yeah. Aren't you guys? Aren't she you is. British? Yeah, kind but of? I don't. I don't use. All right. See that picture? Oh, what a cute photo. That the is guy, a nice photo. All right. Harry? The guy on the left. That's a kid. So, and the guy to her right. Well, he murdered his wife, right? Didn't he kill huh? his wife? That's <laughs> Prince William. On the right, her right, not my right. Her the, the little the kid. No, no, not the kid. Her son. Her who is he? Prince Charles. No, <laughs> Charles. <laughs> Charles. Didn't Charles kill Diana? Isn't that a no! thing? No. <laughs> I thought he killed her. I'm sorry. She died, I don't know she died running from paparazzi in a tunnel with Dodi Fayed. I like, feel like there, car accident. there. I feel like I've heard that he killed her. Dude, Are there they, is a conspiracy theory for every celebrity huh? death ever made, but that's not a large one, I don't think. Okay. Yeah, that guy. Charles is her son, so it's the pictures left. But her yeah, right. yeah, yeah, her right. Yeah, that's Charles and Camilla. Yeah. Didn't he cheat on Diana with Camilla? Yes. Okay, well, yeah. so that's right. I know something. I mean, why do you just start saying allegedly every time you open your mouth in the movie? Well, I'm asking allegedly. questions. I'm literally, I'm not saying these as facts. Oh, I, I phrase gotta, both of these as questions. I gotta, I should, I feel like I need to step in and say this before you go too far down this road, Andrew. Uh, just so you know, Gavin knows next to nothing about England. So uh, okay. his, his English knowledge is brutally limited. I've learned over the years. So just take, take some of the stuff he says with a grain of salt. Ask me a question, Andrew. Uh, I don't even know what to add. Those, are those William's kids? I think that's William to the left, right? That's William yep. and uh, Kate. Yep, um, I missed that kids. Uh, I keep wanting to say McKinnon, but it's definitely not Kate McKinnon. Middleton. I don't. Middleton. Yeah. Okay. Those are their their kids. And she, you're thinking, you're saying that she could refer to those kids as whippersnappers. What? <laughs> she can refer to her son who's next oh, to her, who's I 70 years the, old. The as queen a could call Charles a whippersnapper. Got it. As, okay. It's like an ironic. Co- Understood. <sighs> Understood. <laughs> I don't know anything about the royal family. They're not part of my I mean, world. How does Jeff know more about it than you, though? You're, you're it's from not Canada. part of my. It's not part of my world. It's I don't the know Commonwealth. What to, I don't know what to tell you. I don't think about them it's at all. It's literally more part of your world than mine. I just know about shit because, well, A, I was in London like a month ago and they were setting up for the Platinum Jubilee. Uh, but B, I just pay attention to the world and what's happening in it. I guess my world doesn't contain the royal family. It literally does, though. <laughs> you're a part of the British Commonwealth. Yeah, but it's not, it's not in my peripheral. Like, I get what you're saying. But it's, it's in it's your just, wallet. <laughs> no, it's, I, don't, I don't have any cash on me. Right okay. Now. All right. Andrew's Andrew's heavily invested in altcoin. He pays for everything with Doge no, and altcoin. No, I'm not. Absolutely not. I could tell you about Bayonetta, Platinum Games. I know a lot about Platinum Games. Plat- Bayonetta 2. Okay. Near uh, Auto- Auto- Automata? Near Automata? Is that how you say that one? They make great games. I just don't know anything about Platinum Jubilee. Is that just a title that she got for reigning so long? Or what is... Mm. Well, Platinum is just like a... You know how you, like people have wedding anniversaries and stuff? Like a... I see. Okay. Golden anniversary. Yeah. Usually different decades. Do you think the queen ever used her gold-plated Wii? There's some video game company that there was some other anniversary of hers. They sent oh, her a golden yeah. Wii. Do you think she ever got that? Hmm. Do you think the queen has ever played Wii bowling? Uh, I feel maybe. like absolutely. I bet she gave it a go. 
I bet there is a there is like a whole wing of Buckingham Palace where dignitor, dignitaries and uh, foreign leaders and kings and queens and uh, of other uh, monarchies have given gifts to the royal family that just get chucked in and in, like throw it in that room. They get so much of it. I'm sure she doesn't see ninety percent of it. Yeah, I don't think she. I also don't think she needs any more gold, so she probably didn't even. Yeah. So it was a Nintendo or like another company just did that. I think a different company did that. I don't think it was a Nintendo. Okay. Yeah. I think they're like trying to promote their game. I don't remember like what it was for. Two hundred fifty thousand dollar Wii or something. If I remember Jesus. Exactly. So would you say that the Queen has more or less gifts than Price is Right winners have prizes? If you're going to measure those against each other, more. Way more. Way, Way more. more. Yeah. Okay. And she does. <laughs> she doesn't have to pay all the tax on it. I bet the Queen. <laughs> I bet the Queen could have a tag sale at Buckingham Palace that would blow you away. Do you think the Queen would be interested in a metal bread clip? <laughs> she might, dude. I don't know. I just watched the Let's Martha Stewart bread clip. <laughs> I just watched Martha Stewart's Great American Yard Sale or whatever. I don't know why the Queen wouldn't do it. Martha Stewart is the closest thing to American royalty we have. What was she getting rid of, dude? She got rid of so much stuff. Uh, she got rid of like a lot of different cutlery. She got rid of some really old knives. She got rid of a bunch of like really pretty plates and furniture, like chest of drawers. And I don't know. You watch it. It's on Hulu. I watched the whole thing. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> uh, so all that came from whippersnappers, huh? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> what a fucking. Do you think, as, uh, this is another thought I had recently. Uh-oh. Do you think anyone has stolen the equivalent of, like, what somebody has made in Ocean's Eleven in small goods? Like, what's the most value amount somebody has stolen, like, uh, I don't know, like, going into Walmart and stealing an apple? Scrumping an apple, or, like, a chocolate bar, or something insignificant, something very well, like cheap. Just low value, but extreme quantities. Low value, but extreme quantities. Has somebody gotten like what would be the equivalent of a cut of an Ocean's Heist throughout their life in, in apples or candy? Mm. Small items. Like, what's the most anyone without getting caught has successfully stolen in small quantities? Would that even be feasible? Could you steal enough, let's just say, like, I don't know, like bottles of soda or candy bars. Well, wasn't that kind of the plot of Office Space to steal like tenths of It uh, was, cents? yeah. 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 But that was like a digital, tra- mm. that was like how they were moving pennies. There was no physical transaction in that. I'm just imagining, you know how like a serial killer has their trophies, like a guy that only steals like, oh, Henry bars and has like 20,000 <laughs> rappers in his house. <laughs> what if someone went around... And took all of the first dollars from every business, like the frame. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how many first. I wonder how rich you would be if you had every first dollar in in the world. <laughs> I think you'd be really rich. I saw. And you obviously have to frame the first one you stole. This is a, a little bit of an aside, but it reminded me. I saw the other day that Shaq said he had the largest single purchase in the history of Walmart. Wow. Wow. I don't know if it's true or how it was verified, but apparently he was saying when he got what, traded by a Walmart, when he got traded from Orlando to Phoenix, he got to Phoenix and had nothing. And he was just said, I'm going to buy everything I need. And he went to Walmart at, at like three in the morning and spent bought $70,000 worth of stuff in one Jesus. in one purchase from Walmart. That was back when he played for Phoenix. So it's possible some <laughs> other person has spent more at Walmart <laughs> since then. But uh, according to him, when he played for the Phoenix Suns, he had the largest single purchase in the history. Of, uh, <laughs> he thought, I'll give, a, I'll give money to the richest family in yeah. America. Yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine trying to park a moving truck in a standard parking space? <laughs> <laughs> you just have to take a whole row. And people couldn't even be mad at it. I love the idea of Shaq like, parking his moving truck to the front of Walmart. Just be like, we're, we're loading up. I need chairs. I need tables. I need lights. <laughs> 70 grand does that like go through a checkout yeah, yeah. he said he, he like tr- paid for it with his like so i i, I didn't i was kind of like half listening it was i was doing something else at the time but uh he said that his credit card that got declined <laughs> and he was like run it again i ain't poor and then they tried again and his credit card got declined and then he had to call like american express or whoever and like convince them that it was him <laughs> or he said he got a call and they were like check you're never gonna believe this but somebody just tried to spend seventy thousand dollars of your money at walmart and he's like i'm that guy it's me so they proved it <laughs> Eric said, imagine being behind him in line. That'd be great. How many shopping carts he would need? 
Or the idea of him trying to like sneak in express checkout. <laughs> like it, <laughs> it crosses the line of so absurd that you just have to allow it. He said he bought, he was like, I bought like seven TVs, uh, you know, all stereos. I had to buy like underwear, toothpaste, t-shirts, <laughs> plates. Like he bought an entire life, like everything a person yeah. would need to live. I guess he just left everything else in Orlando and was like, I'll see you eventually. Seven TVs. Yeah, I was about to say, I love the idea of I'm getting all the essentials. Seven TVs. We're opening with seven TVs. Need seven of those. What could you do with seven? Yeah, not, not start with one and we'll see how many more I need. Just start with seven. You're really committed to the tech of that time, too. Not to like, we've, we've had TV talk recently, but TVs, I feel like, are changing like every five years. Like buying all seven at the same time is a decision. All right, I got to figure out what year it was that he... Yeah, they could have been CRTs. Hold on a second. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. All right, you so, would need an entire truck just for the CRTs. So he played for the Phoenix Suns. Oh, no. 2008 to 2009. They weren't CRTs. Ah. 2008, he was getting flat screens. That's disappointing. That's definite flat screen territory. What does show me mean? Just talking to Eric. Oh. Oh, no, we were we were in a space... And Jeff pointed at a TV and just kept going, huh? Right? <laughs> yeah, See? Funny. And I didn't know what the fuck he was talking about, but it was just a frame around a TV. He was yeah. so thrilled about it. I thought it was, it was pretty that, cool. Yeah. Why does Nick said I love a frame around a TV? Why? Why, Nick? This just looks nice. Look at this. No, but it doesn't. It like when it's on, it's it stylish. does. <laughs> when it's off, you I can think, show the Mona Lisa. But I. T- I don't think TVs look ugly. It's, TV when it's on, art when it's off is how they describe it. It's <laughs> relax. Nick said it's relaxing. I so agree. Look at a frame around a TV relaxes Nick. <laughs> you I know how when you're str- you're so stressed out, you're just like, I need something to calm me down. Oh, no. as Nick calls it, <laughs> ah, glowing art. I'm let me turn listen. this TV off. I am right there with Nick. You guys are making fun of him for a uh, totally valid. Hell yeah, Nick. I just, I Would think see a TV off with Doesn't no image. Classy. If it has an image and it's art, like they're displaying, that's fine. But when you turn off a TV and it's just a blank screen with a frame around it, it looks uglier than just a TV does. An I don't think it does frame. that though. I think it always, it goes into like an art mode where you can. You've sent me a photo of a TV that was turned off completely that had a frame around it. I've seen it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was the RT one that they handmade. These are the ones that, like, you buy. No, but I didn't. The frame, like, the handmade part of it was great. I think that looked awesome. Yeah, they, like, just, didn't the have, they just didn't have... They're not... Listen, they're not using it to the, to the height of its potential. But that's my point. Like, unless they all have that, where it's pre-built or whatever. Where they it's, do. It's, they it's do. Set, okay. Turn the TV off to bring the masterpieces to life. Simply press the power button on the one remote and watch art mode. Turn your blank TV screen into a private exhibit of curated creations. Why am I trying to sell these fucking TVs? I don't even have one. <laughs> I just think it's cool. Shaq would buy seven. <laughs> At least. What was his jersey number? Shaquille O'Neal? Seven? Yeah, what, what did he play as? Uh, I think what he probably it? bounced around, depending on did what he? he was playing. Uh, he played for a lot of teams. 34, Eric thinks? He was 34 in L.A., 32 in Miami, 33 when he was at LSU, 32 on the Suns, 36 in Boston, 32 on the Magic, and 33 on the Cavs. So he's just a 32 to 36 kind of uh, runner there. 36 for the Celtics is Marcus Smart currently. Here's hoping that number gets retired and nobody will ever be 36 again. (laughs) It's tomorrow, right? Game Game six? Tonight. Tonight? I thought it was Friday. It's Thursday night. It's Thursday? Fuck. Okay. Yeah, it's in a couple hours. Jesus. I was not mentally prepared for this. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm also not mentally prepared for this, and I've been trying all fucking week. I Ugh. feel like they're going to win. Mm. The, the best part is people already know. They'll you know, know what happened. You know what's fucked up, dude? What? If they win this game tonight, which would be awesome, do you know when they play game seven? When? On my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> that, who? Yeah. That's a... Yeah. Wow. That's yeah, high stakes. You think like... Talk about talk about good socks, bad socks. Uh, fucking... That, the, the risk of them shitting the bed on my birthday and me having to deal with that for the rest of my fucking life. <sighs> wow. Yeah. It was almost like when you dropped that Derek White card and you cursed that entire game potentially. You had that weight on. <laughs> well, let's hope they win. 
Yeah, well, fingers crossed. I think they'll win tonight. I'd be shocked if they lose three in a row. (laughs) Gavin said, uh, Eric asked Gavin what the final score for the game will be. (laughs) And Gavin said 80-94. That would be an incredibly low scoring game. (laughs) Oh, what's the normal? (laughs) I mean, it could happen. But given the playoff, I mean, they're two of the best defenses in basketball. I think it's more likely going to be in the low 100s. Probably 104, Uh, 112 or something. But yeah, 80-94 is bold. I hope to God the Celtics score more than 80 points tonight. Oh, good. Eric's trying to see if he's a time traveler. That's excellent. That's excellent. You might have just caught him in a loop. It's a weird sport, basketball. It's a lot of uh, scoring. Yeah. Yeah, they like to score. Well, <laughs> why does that make it? I guess if you're soccer. Because well, if both teams are going to score the low 100s, it's like how many times are you really excited when it happens? Yeah. 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 Really? Yeah, you are. Yeah. It's exciting Ugh, all the way through. There's too much scoring. Ugh, points. Ugh. What are you talking about? I just think if something happens all the time while you're watching it, it's not interesting. Let's have a fucking blast and watch 1-1 one, one go to a tie. Let's fucking woo. That's great. <laughs> Thrilling. Thrilling high stakes. I'm not saying I agree or disagree with you, Gavin, but did you say that something's always happening and it's so it's not interesting? Like if, if a, a Michael Bay movie... If it was like two and a half hours of explosions, which a lot of the time it would yeah. go on for like 20 minutes and it's like, it's, it cheapens it. No, I understand what you're saying, but it would be like saying there's too much running in soccer. It cheapens it. Like the movement. But you're of the, not what there, are you, you're not cheering a run. You're cheering a goal. But you are but cheering I'm, runs. You're, you're cheering, cheering, you're cheering yeah. the momentum of a run. You're, a team can go on a 10-0 run and change the entire uh, like forecast yeah, but of the, the end game. result is I hope they score a goal. But what about... Are you okay with the fact that at most they're scoring three points per per score? It's not like football six points guarantee well, on a touchdown. If you're fucking, you gotta really work for those If you're points. Steph Curry, you're allowed to have a seven point play. Apparently, <laughs> does the number of point? It's just it's an insane. <laughs> you think games should have a limited mechanism to how they score? No, I'm just saying like if I watch a football game and it's like two one, the goals were like very exciting because there was a lot of time between them. But isn't it the result of the game that you're invested in more so than the mechanism of adding points? Like, isn't shouldn't that? I feel like that's more of a factor for me. Yeah. Would you play like a? Would you play a capture the flag on Blood Gulch first to fifty? No, it'd be like it's exciting when when it's scored once. If every time I score once, it's worth six. That might be interesting. <laughs> Do I get the ability to go for eight? I gotta. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, I think the the beauty of soccer and the allure of soccer is like the fluidity of motion and how the game yeah. plays out. And I, I think basketball has, is the exact same way. Like, you're, you're, you're constantly watching uh, the fluidity of, of the team, how a team will make a defensive response to something that another team is doing and then how that team counters it or doesn't it. It's like it's constantly interesting. There's too much to watch on a screen. I, the thing I've had trouble with these finals is I want to watch them multiple times. because I want to see what every player is doing uh, on in relation to everything else that's going on on the court. Like if basketball is nonstop, interesting shit happening at all times. Fascinating. Not that we're in this era. I just, I, it baffles me the idea of being like, Oh, another dunk. They're dunking again. Okay. I'm not like another annoyed dunk. with it. I'm just like, it's like score over there, run it back, score over there. Score I know, there. but a dunk is always exciting to me. It doesn't matter yeah, how many times I'm, it happens. Like, I've been to, dunk. I went to a game with Jeff. It was yeah. very exciting. It was a very cool environment. It was, I really it, had a good time. I NBA just finals in game. general, I don't think I could watch like 50 games in a year. That's interesting. Oh, well, a lot like of people I, can't. I mean, mo- yeah, it's, uh, I'm not that most people don't watch every game of their team, you know. No. I wouldn't imagine. Oh, really? I don't yeah. think so. There's 82 games, and then if you make oh. it all the way to the, if you make it <laughs> all the way, if you make it all the way through the playoffs to the finals, you're playing another quarter of a season. You know, you're playing another like, like 24 like games. It depends I, on the sport. Like I will I, watch every Seahawks game every year because there's 16 of those, and it's one a week. Like that's a very manageable. When you get into like hockey and football or, or basketball and um, Baseball becomes more challenging. You have multiple yeah. games a week. I like the idea of playoffs. I like the idea of like you don't, you play every team and then something happens. My uh my limit's eighty two games. Baseball it's hard to keep up with a full season and try to watch every game, but I can watch every basketball game. Eighty two is not too hard. The playoffs are always great. Yeah, for any sport, it's always exciting. Are we a sports podcast? 
I don't think that's right. No, we're a base. We're a baseball equipment podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we're, a ba- we're a time traveling baseball equipment. Podcast. I do. Uh, th- oh, that yeah. So speaking of, uh, we'll probably start wrapping it up here soon. But I've been meaning to ask you this, guys, this for a while now. But has anybody experienced any new potential time travel uh, I- issues? It has future you hmm. uh, maybe manipulated your lives in any way recently that you could, you could account for? Yeah, I realized today when you asked me about uh, had I done the baseball video, I quickly went back in time and posted it in the Slack. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. Just so I wouldn't feel <laughs> on the back foot there. Well, I don't think, yeah, I don't think anything. I've had a pretty uneventful life the last couple, the last week or two. I, uh, <laughs> I, I don't even know if I've talked about it, but I got my new bike and I've been riding it every day and like nothing's happening. Everything's just like life's That's good there. Yeah, That's great. I guess so. Yeah, no, it is. You're right. It is. It is good. I've got it hasn't. Uh, yeah. I mean, with the exception it's good of, for everything except for this podcast. Yeah. I mean, with the well, exception of Emily getting, you know, getting COVID and us being quarantined for that week. But like, it's been pretty uneventful life. Yeah, I'd, I'd say that. I'm at a point where I'm thinking about whippersnappers is like a reflection of the thrill that is happening in my life at the moment. <laughs> I'm having extended thoughts about what whippersnappers mean in the age limits. Probably not a lot going on. That's exciting. I want to buy you both uh, a three pack of these new socks, by the way. I would love to have a pair. I'm excited. I want to see if any effect has any effect on your lives. Have you noticed, like, you know, red is bad, but are the other, is any other color like particularly good? Uh, No. Okay. No, I'm trying not to get hung up on like the intricacies of good. Mm. I'm just Mm. trying to avoid bad. I think this will be out by the time, and if not, maybe we can edit. I think you'll know know this, Jeff. The fact that Gavin and I are on Survive Block Island season two, which is like Survivor meets Minecraft. Yes. If I could get a pair of those socks, Gavin, if I get voted out first, <laughs> I'm wearing those fucking socks. We're gonna have a problem. I uh, I love that the other day. <laughs> this is actually funny. I didn't. I forgot about this. Uh, Andrew accidentally texted me some stuff. He was he meant to send to you, Gavin, it about all like. The time scheming for <laughs> survive block island and i was like uh you probably shouldn't be telling me this stuff and he's like oh, are you on the show uh and, and i was like no i'm not in the show and he's like oh yeah we'll just disregard it but i'm producing it i help make it i'm gonna be watching in the control room everything that you're doing and now i know your dumb plans so i can well, <laughs> i can make sure to catch them to well, clarify I, my plan yeah the plan was just the fact that neither of us have capture cards for our computer and i don't know if we need those and the premise of like part of the story just not being present because neither of us are capturing what is yeah, happening like, where do we do we make that at home where do we film it yeah you guys film from home oh i well, can't film from home you can't play a you can't film a pc game on steam no i've like rearranged i've well i guess mine got on steam but, up. Mm. well you might have to come in for it then well all right <laughs> so wait i do need a capture card no, you just need to be able to... Do you have OBS? No, I'll figure it out. It's just a PC game, and you just have to be able to record PC footage. You don't need a okay. capture card for that. Got it. Well, we're going to be in that, and uh, I'm not going to backstab you, Gavin. Promise. Make you swear. Oh. <laughs> I was simultaneously <laughs> filled with joy and dread when you said you were going to be on it. <laughs> really? I was just excited. <laughs> and for the brief moment, I thought Jeff was on it. I was ultra... I was like, this is great. I'm going to send you so many socks. I can't be on it. I know. I know all the all this stuff. It'd be it'd be unfair. This was fun. I'm glad we did too. We learned a lot. We got the videos that are coming out. Got to talk about that we're doing that. Gavin hates scoring. This is a good episode. <laughs> that was a zero. Was, was it one. was it this zero episode response? that was it this episode or last episode that we did, that we discovered Gavin was going to make the pizza, the Branson this pizza. episode. Oh, yeah, it's a great episode then. It's a great episode. <laughs> yeah, we got a whole that new happened recipe. like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> That's awesome. A, a plus plus. Why don't one or two of you watch that freaking video and then we'll upload I'm it? I'm so yeah? excited. Please upload the file as soon as we're done. Could we, <laughs> could you send us the, the fucking Put in the Slack. other video? Yeah, but also watch baseballs for Christ's sake. I will. Oh, we'll watch both of them. Can't wait. All right. Uh, how long is it? <sighs> Just off the top of your head. I don't remember. Mm, let me see. Here's my here's my note. Uh, it's probably too long. Um, let me see. I'm looking it up right now. It is nine and a half minutes. Oh yeah, that's a seven minute video max, probably. <laughs> Thanks for your feedback. No problem. <laughs> Happy to help. <laughs> okay, I guess I should stop it. Nobody else is gonna do it. Thanks for listening uh, to another episode of the it. what? You start it. You end the. Sh- this is your thing. This is what you do. Yeah, that's fine. 
I was just, I was saying that nobody else is going to okay. do it, so I better do it. No, I was sitting here. What you do. I was no, yeah, no. I I'm not arguing. Is this with you. the final version of the intro or the outro? Or are there going to be notes? <laughs> I'll be honest. It's too long. <laughs> <laughs> the end. Maybe. Hey guys, Major League Fan Jack here with a look at next week's episode of Face. Nick screwed up the secret. Gavin gets his movies wrong. What is Eric's limit? You're going to find out what all the beeping was about. Gavin and Jeff have the wettest of fives. Water and laptops do not mix. Jeff is an excellent diver. And once again, Andrew does not eat the pencil. All that and more on next week's episode of Face.